right so what happens in the priority group activation right So what happens when you create a priority group activation method that means you are creating a two groups right first is primary and second one is secondary or a backup yeah right now in the primary there will be a set of servers having a higher priority and in the secondary uh, there will be a set of server having lower priority right so suppose there is a server 1 2 3 which is having a priority 10 that means they are primary servers primary group of servers right and the server 5 and, and the server 4 5 and 6 they are having a priority 5 that means they are a backup group of servers Right. So first thing is that you need to define a group of servers, which is a primary group and a secondary group and based and how it decided based on the priority. Right. So the primary group member will having a higher priority and the secondary will having a lower priority. First thing. Correct. Now. So first step is to define a group based on the priority. Right. Now, second thing you will set up priority group activation priority group activation value suppose you set less than two what does this mean this means that so obviously if you are setting a group of server which is having a primary having a higher priority that means all your traffic will come to the primary servers only right and what happens suppose the, the server 3 went down right now the f5 will check the condition whether your primary group priority group activation is less than or equal to two or uh, no sorry less than two or not that means in in the current scenario you are having two uh, you know available server in the primary one so this means this is defeating your you know uh, condition that means again your all traffic will come here only right after certain point of time suppose a server 2 went down now the available server is 1 right which is failing this condition less than 2 yeah yeah right yeah. so now once this happens your backup server will be activated right and your serve and, and your traffic will be sent first it will be sent to primary one and then again it will be sent to secondary one mm -hmm. right now after some time suppose your the server 2 comes up it comes up right that means your condition is again uh, you know um, uh, matched now the condition is matched then your prior the backup you know group will be deactivated and your and all the traffic will go to the server one and server two mm -hmm. so that means your condition should be matched till the time it is matching this the 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 condition which you have said that i will use my primary group of server till the time i have available server which is which should not be less than two less than or equal to 2 mm -hmm. right till the time the condition matches the, the all the traffic will go to the primary group members if the condition fails the traffic will be first traffic will first, first packet will be sent to obviously the higher priority server and then again next subsequent packet will be sent to lower priority member based on the round robin method right yeah so either you can write it down yeah i can i can so that you know yeah yeah sure yeah my, um i got it yeah um priority servers okay now earlier than two servers
numbers, okay, less than equal to, okay, that's good, yeah, I got it, mate, thank you. Got it? Or should I, you know, uh, uh, make you write it down, should I say something, you know, so that you can have a notes available? Sure, sure, no problem. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so write it down. So yeah. the priority group activation yeah. allows yeah. to define yeah. primary members and a backup members. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The priority group activation is managed through two parameters. Sorry, the priority group activation? Priority group activation is managed yeah. through two parameters. Yeah. Right? First, mm -hmm. each pool member has mm -hmm. a priority value assigned. Mm -hmm. Right? Second one, the priority group activation condition is enabled. That means a condition, a threshold value. Yeah, priority group condition is uh, is activated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now the condition this, uh, is enabled, which is yeah. The priority group activation is disabled by default. Right. Right. By default, it is disabled, so that round robin and by default round robin comes into the picture. If you don't do anything, the traffic will right. be evenly distributed, and it is the most one which is used. Exactly. Round robin is mostly used. Right. Got it. Because no one knows the nature of the traffic. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. So it's very difficult to avoid the load to the F5. It sends, you know, uh, randomly. And and we try to keep the servers of the same configuration so that, you know, each can handle the traffic efficiently. Required traffic, yes. Right? If the insufficient members... Sorry? If the, if there are yeah. insufficient members yeah. within the highest priority group, that means your condition is failing, the next group is activated. Exactly. Uh, that means means condition is failing. Yeah. Condition is is failing. Then uh, backup group will be activated. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Until yeah. there are sufficient members Yeah Right? Yeah And if the number of members If the If the number of members false priority activation group priority group activation threshold value yeah the next highest priority members will be used so this is your condition you know what do you, if, you, if you set the priority group activation value 2 and if the condition fails right if your primary group of servers having if the two are down that means you, you have only member available member 1 but you are but in the condition you are saying that the mem active member should have two you know, servers, obviously the condition fails, your second highest priority uh, group will be activated and the traffic will be sent round robin. Right, right. But one question, hello. Yeah. In that situation, if the, let's say, condition fails, you set the condition to less than two or equal, um, uh, but two boxes goes down, one box activated, right? But yeah. again, you have yeah. the server one, you know, having on the highest priority method. It, which is in which is in available so your traffic yeah. first the traffic will go to your priority 10 member and then again the second one third one fourth one will go on this second third and you know third fourth fifth and sixth servers exactly that's what my point so my point is even though the condition fails this 10 servers and it will not go to priority 5 servers yeah yeah got it okay yeah Okay, so, so this C here, if my, if, if my two server is going down, then again, 
you know uh, the the priority group uh, five is activated and the traffic is sending round robin first second third fourth fifth six seven eight like that <clears throat> right so yeah. this is a failover mechanism right mm -hmm. now what is the uh, the another mechanism which we, uh, it is the last topic of this module then we will go for the you know we will see some labs like round robin and a ratio method because mm -hmm. this is the static one we can you know uh, practice and and see the you know conditions mm -hmm. so what what uh, so the another one is fallback mm -hmm. right so what does this fallback you know host means right suppose you have seen you know if i talk about in general you know general scenario suppose sometime you are browsing a, one of the websites and uh, uh, and after uh, after one and two hour of uh, you know browsing you you left for the you, for the breakfast or you know lunch and when you came back you again browsed it to the same site you know after lunch you will see that it, the server is not displaying the uh, correct packet uh, you know you know content it is saying that apologies it may be that the server you know might be not available sometimes it says the web content is not available you might have seen when you are using the you know internet connection right yeah, yeah. so yeah. it is it is so it is the same one suppose you are working in a corporate environment and you are accessing your application sometimes your applications or you know there is some problem in the network and your internal server or f5 is not working or something like that so in any way you are not able to access your applications so that means if all member fails then a client is sent a http redirect or a std or a to alternate site right boss my if, if this is not available you go to the you know secondary you know uh, my secondary the, on the on the dr side or somewhere else where we have sent a you know um, uh, alternate site right or a apology server so that it will say that uh, please hold on my service is unavailable the site will be coming in two hours something like that right so so fallback host means if all member of the pool will fail the client is client can can be sent an http redirect to an alternate site or an an apology server right and this option you will configure when you are configuring http profile <coughs> Okay, then I to end the server, another server, and this can be done via, this can be done with the module three, uh, which is the load balancing methods. So in the load balancing method, just a recap, I, 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 I have delivered the, you know, two types of load balancing method. First is the static one and the dynamic one. Right in the static one, we talked about the route robbing. We talked about the ratio, which in, in which we talked that we will assign a manual ratio, and based on the ratio, uh, the the packet will be sent, and it will follow the route robbing method. In the dynamic load balancing, we talked about the least connections, fastest connections, and then the least session, weighted least session, observed and the predictive. The, obviously, the observed and predictive is having the same concept, but only thing is that the uh, the the observed uh, will have a three to two and the predictive is as a four is to one right in the weighted connections we define a percentage as a weight whereas percentage is calculated based on the current connections divided by maximum connect connections and based on the percentage the traffic will be sent right and the least connect least session is just uh, you know based on the persistence record which the the, the f5 maintains and which is having the least percentage record the 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 session or uh, so, sorry the packet is sent to the server right and we talked about the priority group activation in the priority group activation there are you can define uh, you know primary group and a secondary group in the primary group the the servers will be having the highest priority and this and the backup will be of the lowest priority and 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 if a, and, and if your traffic is flowing obviously the primary group will be selected first and and you will set a primary group activation value suppose if if i select two then if my available you know uh, primary group members are meeting the condition my all traffic will go to the primary you know uh, 
group and if uh, if my two of the server fails that means my condition fails then the secondary group activation uh, secondary group will be activated and the traffic will be followed or sent by a round robin method till the time the condition fails my both will group will be used and when my my, my one of the server from the primary group is you know comes again and the and the condition matches then my then my secondary group will not be used and my all traffic will be handled by primary group members and we talked about the fallback host in the fallback host if all of the member of the pool is down the client is sent a http redirect to an alternate server or a apology server Thank you.